Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, uh, about every church in the country is always sending their money to Siberia or China or Haiti or somewhere. Don't never care nothing about helping the people around here. I wonder why that is. I've never figured that out. I mean, what about you local people? How about charity beginning at the house of God at the, where you at? How about that? About letting a little love? You reckon God don't love nobody here? Huh? But we'll send it over to Haiti or people will where they're over there biting pigeons' heads off and the worship and the voodoo worship from the devil and we talk about how pitiful that them peoples are and how they need help. And then some family down the road can have a mishap and done pretty good most of their life and one of them goes out and starts drinking don't know how to cope with things or gets on drugs or something or other. That's the sorriest trash that's ever been put in this country. I wish something would happen to them. They'd get run over by a truck or something. Keep sending your money over to them people are biting the heads off them pigeons then. Amen? Amen? You can hide more money, Brenda, when it goes through two or three channels to get over yonder and there's more money to be made. If me and Jonathan and I wanted to set up a pretty good thing and we was in order enough to do it, one of us could go to, to Haiti and one could stay here and buy money, one that could talk real good and send millions of dollars over there and we could set up a company. Nobody wouldn't have to know it's Jonathan over there. It might be the company of the firstborn or something or whatever and Jonathan could be over there getting every bit of that money collecting it in and raking it in and then send me back my half of it and we could get rich off of something like that, couldn't we? If you won't help your own people, there's some reason why you're helping others and won't help your own. Amen? Didn't mean to say that, but that's all right, ain't it? Huh? Help your own people. Don't let your church go crippled here whenever that your church here. Help the people in your own church that's a need to help. People that's a coming to your church that's losing their homes. People that's coming to your church that's a struggling and got little kids and needing to be fed, help them. Don't beg get people to send all the money somewhere else. Help them people there. And then when you help them, they you're opening up some more faucets to where they can be some more people to help and to do better. I ain't too happy with all this stuff going on myself. Everybody say love. But whoso hath this world's good and sees his brother have a need and shuts up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let not let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. I, I'm a man. I ain't much on. I, I guess I ought to be a little better than I am. But I told Kenneth Gross a while ago. I said I love you. I meant that too. I meant that. But I'll tell you something else. If he wants to test my love out, he can find out I meant it. I wasn't just loving in word. I'll do everything I can for him if I can. And hereby, and hereby, when you see them kind of words there, I always pay attention to them. Hereby's and wherefores and stuff. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before Him. How do we hereby know that we're of the truth? Because we are loving in action instead of by word. For if our heart condemn us, now we'll take these scriptures a lot of times out of context. And hereby, or said, and hereby we. Got miss my place here. It, for if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. He's still talking about this love and about helping people. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of Him because we keep His commandments. Well, what's He just talking about? He's talking about loving each other 
helping each other because we love them, about loving God and loving each other. And, and if we're doing that, our heart ain't going to condemn us. Our heart's not going to be a bother us. And we'll know it because our heart ain't condemning us. And he said here in verse 20, For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knows all things. In other words, if your heart is condemning you because you ain't lining up and doing right, God's greater than your heart. He can take care of it because He knows everything. If your heart if your heart don't condemn you, then we have confidence toward God. What confidence do we have? That whatever we ask, we receive of Him because we keep His Word. We keep His commandments. What is His Word? What is His commandments? To love God and to love each other. You can hang all the law and the prophets on it. Seems like it's a little easier now since the devil got unhitched from this. 